in the summer and what not to buy in the summer. And the summer is kind of vague, it's kind of huge, so my goal here is May, June, July, piece of August maybe, truly what you would view for the summer. And it's definitely not the same items all summer long. So we're gonna try to hit across the board, um, maybe some things that are even month specific so that you can have a game plan. You know, when should I grab these things? And the reason that I picked this, it was actually already on the schedule um, and uh, kind of move things around because last week that was the go-to question. We just started off with like the first 20 minutes of folks asking me, when's the best time to buy this? When's the best time to buy that? So I thought it would be a great um, whole hour long, just ask away. Whatever your questions are as to when should I grab something, let's ask it. So if you are kind of hunting for something, pondering grabbing something, ask. Let's see, is this the best time to grab it? Maybe, maybe not. So we're gonna go through it. I've made a list of items that hopefully we can get through to um, just so we can try to cover it all. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments and either I will see them or my husband will see them and between the two of us, we will try to get you an answer. So, and as well, uh, I guess general housekeeping, I am completely cool with questions that are off topic. So if you have a question that is not related to when should I buy something, but instead CBS budgeting, I don't care ask away, I will be glad to try to get you an answer. So that's kind of the fun of a QA and a is, you know, stump Jenny moments. Who knows, maybe you can throw something at me that I can't give you the answer to. Um, so as we dive in, and hello to everyone else, that everyone that's already on with us, Wendy and Stacy and Hilda, um, glad to see you guys every week. Um, so as we dive in, let's hit, what should we go ahead and grab now or maybe all summer? Let's go more generic and then let's break it down into some items that um, are more specific to a certain weekend or even a certain month. So in general, we are definitely entering like peak market season for fresh veggies, whether that's local or some that are brought in from uh, you know Florida, Mexico, that's where some of our produce, even the farmer's market is coming in from. This is prime time. So starting throughout May, June, July, it's a great time to be grabbing produce in bulk and freezing it and putting it away. And I just posted two videos on how to freeze uh, and vacuum seal your produce to try to help you here because it really is um, a huge time to save a ton of money by buying these items on sale at their lowest price and getting them in the freezer. And what I mean by that, guys, just to give you some examples, strawberries during peak season at the farmer's market in bulk. So bulk strawberries is 12 pounds. It's 12 individual one pound containers. It will be less than a dollar per container. You're never gonna walk into the grocery store and see strawberries for less than a dollar a container. So it's a dollar, less than a dollar a pound. Grab them, freeze them, cut the tops off, get them in the freezer. You can use them for smoothies, for baking, whatever you want, you know, the whole rest of the year if you go crazy. Now, obviously most of us, I even have an extra freezer, but I don't have that big of a freezer if I wanted to buy all my produce for the next year in a two month spread. But you get the idea, things that you will regularly purchase that are not on sale, not a great price. Fruit is a big one because when fruit is off season, it gets very pricey. So grab those items when you can and get them in the freezer. Blueberries, blackberries, all of our berries will come more peak season in another month. There are June and July fruit, um, but grabbing those items and getting them put away, veggies too, but uh, in my boat, fruit becomes one of the most expensive things because my kids could down a container of strawberries in one sitting. You just open it up and all five of them go crazy. So, you know, if I can get some things put away, that always saves some money. Um, okay, so that's, you know, a big blanket one, um, but one way to keep tabs on what is in season and what's not in season is to look at the market reports. I mention this every time we have an online coupon workshop too, uh, but if you go, this is a shortened URL, so uh, so.svrs.me slash market. It's gonna pull up a market report, and we'll stick that in the comments here in a second, but just to show you what this market report looks like, it looks like a big old dot matrix printer. I know it looks a little old school, but what this is gonna show you is what is currently at the federal market 
in Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, I have a light that's fritzing. Um, so I know you don't live in Columbia as well, but this is still gonna help you because it's going to show you um, what I can get in season. And that's really gonna be anywhere in the country. Same items are gonna be in season because most of them are coming from out of state to our big markets. But this is a federal market report. There's only 18 federal markets in the country. So pulling up one and looking at it is gonna help you from no, no matter where it's from. Atlanta has a federal market. You can pull up their report if you want. This is all on the USDA's website, but I've just given you like a short link to this one report. It updates every single day. So this is why it's helpful for you because you can see exactly what is at the farmer's market and the going price. Now, you'll notice that these are large containers, but I'm telling you, we get the best price when we buy them in bulk. Um, so I'm serious about that. You want to focus on um, grabbing things in bulk when you can uh, and um, stocking up on them uh, when you can. So obviously you may not need four dozen ears of corn, but guys, that's what this line is right here. And I know you can't read it. I even blew it up to make it as big as I could for you. Um, but it says four dozen ears of corn are currently going for 15 bucks. That is crazy cheap compared to what you would pay for four dozen ears of corn in the grocery store. Um, so what are you going to do with that? You probably don't want it all. Um, but you do want to go in and, you know, split it with some friends. You can make this work. This is where even a produce co-op can come in handy for you. Um, so use that report. So as we're talking summer, we have to talk veggies. So I know if you just tuned into the long couponing workshop a couple Saturdays ago, we covered that, but it would be bad to do a what's on sale in summer and not talk veggies. So use that report. It is a help to you. Find a co-op if you can. That's a huge help. I love our co-op um, and I can't imagine getting the amount of produce that we get without having that co-op or being able to buy in bulk, whichever way you do it. Okay, so let's move on um, to other things in the grocery store first. We're gonna get to the fun things, the big things, but there are some seasonal items in the grocery store. So starting Memorial Day is in two weekends and we're really gonna start to see it coming up in this coming ad, but really the ad right before Memorial Day, so next week's ad, it is gonna to start to be all grilling items. So grilling meats, condiments, everything for a backyard grill fest is going to be on sale all the way from Memorial Day, really until Labor Day. Uh, it's the lowest price that we see on hot dogs. It's the lowest prices that we see all year on condiments. So ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I know those aren't huge things for you, but this is how hard it is for me. My husband was just commenting this week uh, as we were using up some Dijon mustard and it, like he's squirting it to get the last little bit out of this container. He's like, is it mustard free? Why am I having to struggle so much? Um, but these items are their lowest price during the summer. So yes, mustard is generally free on sale with a coupon, but not until we get to the summer. It's really hard for a long-term couponer to pay for mustard. Uh, so it means that you hold on and you work hard to get that last little bit of mustard out of that container until Memorial Day comes around and then I promise I'll get him another one. Um, but just so you get the point, you don't need 92 bottles of mustard to get you through until next year's grilling season. Uh, you just need two or three probably in most households, but you do wanna go ahead and grab it during grilling season because free mustard, it isn't so bad uh, compared to, you know, it's not even a bad price on sale normally, but it's a great price during grilling season. Uh, also in that realm, ice cream, ice cream sandwiches, popsicles, all of those items, definitely the best price during the summer. Uh, and that's a no brainer. So making sure that you're grabbing those items. This isn't a bad time either as we're kind of still stuck at home. I know things are reopening uh, and if you live in Georgia, everything's reopened, but I think most folks are still, you know, hanging near home a little bit more than they used to. Why don't you plan a, we're gonna cook out by the fire pit every other week or once a week, we're gonna have hot dogs or switch it up so that we have hot dogs, we have uh, grilled sausages, you know, kind of going that route, use those grilling meats to help you save more because they're what's on sale uh, and focus on those meats, work them into your meal plans. It's an easy dinner too. I love watching my kids cook their own dinner over a fire. It's like winning a parenting. Um, so definitely take advantage of them when you're planning your meal plans. 
Uh, okay, so I know I've got questions, uh, and let me pop over and try to catch up with, I saw um, computers come through, uh, a computer for college. So Lelis, uh, if in terms of computers, please hold off until the first full week after July 4th. So that is when back to school sales start back. So it's not like July 5th, it is the next full week after July 4th. It's gonna make me pull up a calendar just so I can tell you. Um, well, I take that back. It is gonna be July 5th, because July 4th is on a Saturday. Um, so we will see back to school sales probably start the week of July 5th, which is on a Sunday, and will be the start of the ad for Target and for the office supply stores. If it's not the 5th, it'll be the 12th. It's always right there, right after July 4th. That is when back to school season starts even though you are not thinking about back to school. I urge you to wait on computers until then because we see the best prices on computers during back to school season. I mean, it beats Black Friday. And I cringe every mid-August when somebody sends me a message on a Q&A and says, hey, when should I get a computer? You missed it. You know, so make sure in that window, back to school window, and this is a big one for what to buy in the summer, Back to school window starts that July 5th, possibly July 12th. We'll see if they push it off a week. And it will run through the second week in August. You'll still see some sales until Labor Day, um, but nothing big. All of our big ticket items will come off sale at that point by mid-August. So go ahead and make sure you've grabbed your computer, you've grabbed your graphing calculator, any of those big ticket items during it, it's still basically a six week window but during that window don't go past the second week in august the prices do go up on purpose because school is about to start they know school starts after that second week in august and they know at this point if you didn't grab it they can take you for whatever they can get from you and so we do we see all of those prices go back up for the weeks around the windows of when school is actually starting. So do not be a procrastinator when it comes to back to school and definitely hold off on computers until that window starts. Best places for computers locally, Staples tends to win. Another thing for Staples is that they do run a 100% um, guarantee that they have the lowest price or 110% price match guarantee. I was trying to think of the wording there does not mean that it becomes a miraculous deal, but if I find the same computer lower, if I find that graphing calculator lower uh, somewhere else, then I've got even a slightly better deal in Staples to do the price match and grab it in Staples. So just to throw that one out too, if that was gonna be the next question, where should we go for those items? As we talk about college items, or uh, you were asking for a computer for college, but in general, this is right now, is a great time to grab some things for folks that have um, seniors that are going to be in college in the fall or if you've got high schoolers this is a key time to grab like for sale by owner basically graphing calculators so it's end of year think of the things that all these families are like hey my kid doesn't need this anymore uh, this is a perfect time to grab those items and hold on to them get them used get a great price on them Graphing calculators, I can guarantee you nothing magical is going to change about that graphing calculator. Uh, we have a brand new one, well, it's, it's a couple years old, from um, TI, it's an 84, 86. Guys, I can compare that next to the one that I had in college. So I have one twin on a brand new one and one twin is using either mine or my husband's from college. They're still the same. And I am not gonna tell you how long ago it was that we were in college but they don't change that much. Uh, the only difference right now is that they have rechargeable bat batteries versus sticking in a, a, you know new Duracells and walking out the door. I think actually sticking in the new Duracells, that kid's a little happier with it because the one who has to charge hers has to think about it in advance to make sure her calculator is good for a test. You get the idea. Um, it's not gonna change. Get the used one, doesn't matter how old it is either. You're gonna get a really great deal on it right now, not closer to when school starts. This is when people are getting rid of them. And there are other things that fit in that too. So anyone with rising freshmen, think mini fridge, think small microwave. If I'm clearing out my dorm room and I don't plan to go back in a dorm room, I've got a lot of stuff I would love to get some cash for. 
and this is a great time to grab them. Most of those college kids are not gonna wanna hold on to them all summer and sell it to you at the end of the summer. They wanna sell it to you now. Um, so we have some friends that have a kid that's up at Wofford in South Carolina. I know this Friday is move out of dorms day, so the kids are coming back to get their stuff that they just basically had to leave there. Um, so it is, get ready, watch Facebook Marketplace, watch all of the places that folks sell things online. We've done a whole Q&A on those but watch them and grab those items now because come you know beginning of august when you're asking me for deals on mini fridges they're not super super cheap but used they're great um, so big one there and you know to not miss that it really is right now uh, sp marsh says when's the best time to get a new stove so three there are gonna be three times during the summer and it's always a three-day weekend so Memorial Day, July 4th, and Labor Day are gonna be big ones. Um, you just, you don't wanna miss them. With July 4th falling on a Saturday, that actually could in turn be an even bigger weekend for sales. Um, and with appliances, I will tell you, we do see new models on appliances come out in the fall. So potentially July becomes your biggest window because they want to clear out this year, last year models for the new models that are coming out. It's kind of like buying a car late fall, not summer for cars, um, but same concept because Lowe's only has so much room on the floor in the appliance section. And if a new fridge is coming out, they've got to get rid of the old ones. Um, so that window, um, Memorial Day, July 4th, Labor Day, and kind of going to town. Keep in mind too, for anyone that is in the appliance hunt, that all of the big stores price match each other and a number of them will do a price guarantee. So if you were to go ahead and grab your fridge, let's say a week before July 4th, and then you grab that July 4th ad and the price was lower, most of them will adjust the price that you paid if it's within a certain window. So, you know, it pays to know what the policy is for appliances, um, and possibly that way you can shop a little bit earlier before the rush of July 4th uh, and still get the sale if you went that route, just to you know, throw that out. Um, and let's see, so, um, oh if, yes, if you do get your appliances, so Amazon now sells appliances, guys, and Amazon is not that nice when it comes down to it. So in terms of large appliances, I really would just stick with the local guys, the Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy, those are the three big guys. Sears, if you have them. Sears also has a Sears outlet center in some cities. I know Charlotte's got one. They can have some crazy good prices and you can buy online from them. So if you're within a radius, you could still grab things from Sears online. Um, but you can still get some great deals. And one other thing for my big ticket purchase item, folks, because there's a lot of things that fit on those three day weekends. Let's just, you know, I guess go big there first. Uh, three day weekends in general, mattresses, furniture, electronics, TVs, uh, appliances, all of those things, anything big ticket is always a three day weekend purchase. So whatever you're looking at for those three day weekend purchases, just go ahead and plan. We're gonna, we're gonna be shopping, whether it's online or in store, it doesn't matter. You'll still get the same deal, but we're still gonna grab our items then. And one other big tip for my big ticket purchase item folks is to get gift cards at a discount and then purchase with the discount. So for example, right now through tomorrow night, um, Kroger is running four times the fuel points on gift cards. They'll run this again um, around Father's Day. So um, if you don't shop before tomorrow night, it's okay, you can get it again um, early June. Sometimes we see it for Memorial Day, but not always. But for example, we had to buy a new dishwasher. Um, really, the church had to buy a new dishwasher. My husband was installing it in um, a, a, the pastor's house. So for that dishwasher, we went and grabbed Lowe's gift cards at Kroger and then turned around and used those Lowe's gift cards from Kroger to buy the dishwasher. But at four times the fuel points, if you're buying $300 in gift cards, $100 is worth basically, what is that? Four times the number of points that you would get. You, it, it was a ton. We had numerous fill-ups with $1 off every gallon um, for a while. So take advantage of it. Uh, do remember that you're gonna have to use them all within a certain window before your fuel points expire. But 
If I had a big purchase, if I wanted to buy a lot of appliances, grab some gift cards now. Use the points for your gas. Maybe you're not gonna purchase that, that refrigerator for a while, but you're getting started on your Lowe's gift card stash or your Home Depot, they sell them all. Um, but take, you know, double dip basically. Take full advantage of discounted gift cards and then go and purchase your items in the store. You will love the gas savings and you already wanted the fridge anyway, so you might as well. Um, okay, so do I think mulch will be on sale during Memorial Day weekend? Wendy, yes, we see the same typical Memorial Day sales from Lowe's and Home Depot. So they sell the mulch for $2 a bag. They tend to sell the $1 pavers um, and the bricks also uh, on sale along with um, all the other things that tend to fall into that, that sale. Another thing that we will see start in June and run almost through the end of July are really great deals on paint. So if you've been pondering painting a room, the summer is the best time to do that. We also see always starts a little bit before Father's Day, which I think is humorous. I don't really think that there are a lot of husbands that want to paint a room. Uh, I think it's probably the, the one thing if I were to say it, I can just see the look that my husband would give me now, but like, no, don't make me do that. Let's rearrange furniture before you make me paint a room. Um, but what we will see is Lowe's always runs their big paint rebate. Uh, they start at the beginning of June and it'll run for a few weeks. That typically gives us a gallon, depending on the kind you pick, completely free. Um, so it's always a fun deal. We see it every year. So watching for that one in the paint section. Sherwin-Williams is also going to run their typical deals too. So if you, if you prefer to go with an actual paint store, we do see some great sales from them in June and July. Tools also, since we're in hardware stores already, um, that is one that definitely goes on sale for Father's Day. Uh, you know, it's a Father's Day bubble for tools and then it's a Christmas bubble for tools. And that's really it. So if you have something that you've had your eye on, um, this could be the time to go ahead and grab those items. And don't forget about Harbor Freight, just to throw that one in. Um, it's, it's super cheap tools compared to the name brand guys, but they hold up pretty well. We have a number of Harbor Freight things in our garage and they still run sales too. So watching their sale ad uh, around those few weeks around Father's Day, you're still gonna get some pretty good deals. Don't just assume this is Lowe's and Home Depot when it comes to those tool items. Um, uh, is there a chance of getting a freezer now? Hilda says, ours went out and we've not replaced it yet. You could, um, what we're seeing is that a lot of freezers are sold out right now, Hilda. Uh, I know I checked a couple of weeks ago uh, and I, I have not checked in the last two weeks probably, but when I did, there was pretty much nothing to work, th to even like begin to have anything to compare with. Um, so let me do a quick search on Lowe's and even just see what they have in stock. Um, oh, they're gonna be stinky and make me tell them where I live. Um, but I, you might, I, I can't, I don't, it's really gonna depend on your local area and how folks have gone crazy for freezers. Um, there are, I guess our Lowe's nearby does have some. They're definitely not on sale. If you could, I would still wait for a three day weekend. I know if yours just went out, that's a hard thing to wait on and you don't wanna lose your food. Um, but I do know our Lowe's is at least saying that they have some in stock and it's gonna depend on where you are. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of selection and you're probably not going to have a lot of sales on them either and possibly not even for a three-day weekend this summer just because so many folks are in um, stockpile mode and realizing that having a freezer would be beneficial um, but hopefully you can find something it's just not going to be a really great deal um, when's the best time to buy a couch so Christy anything furniture is a three-day weekend and ideally if you can it's waiting until we hit july so july 4th or potentially labor day so we see new furniture just like new appliances new furniture comes out in the fall as well and they want to clear their furniture space uh, to make room for those new couches you're going to get a pretty good deal on them so i would watch those july 4th sales um, and go crazy if that's when you want to grab it I would also encourage you, I don't know what you're looking for in the couch market, but I would encourage you to look used as well. 
We actually just bought a couch after Christmas um, through Facebook Marketplace and it's used, but it's a, it was a crazy good deal for a used leather sofa versus what a new leather sofa would cost. Um, and we weren't necessarily looking for leather. We were just looking for something that was under 200 bucks and we managed to find it and we we're very pleased with it versus paying out the nose for something that was new. We just didn't have that money. Uh, Rochelle asks about a smartwatch. So again, anything electronics is usually a three day weekend. However, we saw really big sales on smartwatches before Mother's Day, and I suspect we will see the same before Father's Day. So if we don't see a great sale that you want over Memorial Day weekend, I would definitely watch the sales that are right before, the week before Father's Day. Since that always falls on a Sunday, you would be watching that sale ad that ended on Saturday. Um, for example, Target ran a great price on Apple Watches, and then we saw everybody else price match it. Um, so if, if that's the, the market you're looking for, we saw Apple Watch on sale, we saw um, the Fitbit Versus on sale, uh, even uh, some Samsung deals were popping up on the Samsung uh, smartwatches. So I suspect for Father's Day, possibly even more than we saw for Mother's Day, uh, because it's just right up in the line of what most guys would want, or so they would like you to think anyway. Um, Oh yeah, Mike's got a great comment too. In terms of computers for college, check to see if your courseware has any specifics before you purchase. Uh, yes, if you've got a kid that's going into graphic design, fashion design, uh, they need an Apple. They do not need a PC. There's gonna be a lot of software that they need to run that their PC won't be able to run. Uh, so finding out what their particular, even college requires. And a lot of times that's on the college's website. So I don't mean like University of Georgia, I mean the College of Fashion and Design in the University of Georgia. So the individual admission departments for their major work, that's really what you wanna focus on. I don't wanna buy you a computer when you're a freshman and then turn around and buy you another computer when you are a junior. Let's just make this one computer work all four years. That's the goal here. Um, so look and be you know proactive on what they're gonna need further in on their major work. Um, any tips on how to get the price on um, getting work done to their onto your house, uh, getting hardwoods redone? Um, so Wendy, honestly, in terms of getting work done, getting as many estimates as you can is really probably the number one way of getting the best price. The other thing to do would be to see, can we work any deals to where um, you know you handle purchasing, uh, supplies or things that they need and they just come in and do the labor that could be an option they may have opportunities to get you know bulk uh, deals that you couldn't get on lumber but it could be some way to save some money too I know if you're having a contractor come in and redo a bathroom you purchasing the fixtures and whatnot does save some money as a lot of contractors actually will add a fee to anything that they purchase. So it's not necessarily what they paid, but it's now what they paid plus a 4% or 10% fee on top of that is part of their contractor fee. So you need to kind of figure that out. Is there anything that I could purchase? And that completely avoids your contractor fee uh, as you're having any work done. Uh, definitely for those smaller items, it's easy to grab fixtures, um, light plates, you know, thinking about the light switch that's behind me, uh, those are things that you could easily grab in Lowe's or Home Depot and probably where your contractor would grab them anyway. Uh, if they have an added fee, try to nix that if you can. But the most that you can get in estimates is gonna make you feel the more comfortable that you got the best price. Uh, you definitely wanna look at references too. We don't always wanna go with the lowest bidder on a job, because that can really be a problem but it can definitely save you money to have just a bigger understanding of what everybody's view would be on that price. Um, so Miss J says, do I know if Target price matches Walmart, uh, the Walmart price over the phone ordering? So Target does price match online deals um, and you can do it with their online chat. I would think you could also do it with their online, with over the phone as well. They're gonna need to be able to pull up and see that price. So if I was in the store, I'm gonna do that at customer service. They're gonna pull it up on an iPad in their store, um, but you're gonna need, they're gonna need to be able to view that price and they should have that ability, I would, I would assume. But they will price match online and local retailers 
um, and you can get a pretty great price doing that. Keep in mind with price matching and the same, you know, I mentioned Staples earlier too when it came to back to school deals. All of these places that price match, they will only price match items that are truly sold by Walmart or by Amazon. So when you're on Walmart, there are a lot of things that are on the site that are really sold by third parties. Um, they're not gonna price match that. So it does need to say that it is sold by Walmart or sold by Amazon, um, and then they're good to go. They will price match it. Okay, uh, when's the best time to buy a storage shed? This one as well is gonna fit into a three-day weekend, potentially Father's Day. That's a really large ticket item depending on the size that you're grabbing. So the three-day weekend is probably gonna be ideal for you. I would also possibly wait, if you could, until the end of summer. So let's just go there for a second because there's a lot of things that are really late summer items. They, they are things you want in the summer, but they are definitely not things you want to purchase in the summer. So in that boat, just in a hardware store, grills, lawnmowers, patio furniture, storage shed probably would also fall into that. Um, there's a lot there that I really wanna hold off on if I can until after Labor Day. That's when the best sales are gonna come in on those items. Um, so we'll see Labor Day weekend happen and then we'll see them all go on clearance. You will see grills start to get marked down in um, August, but they won't hit their lowest prices until Labor Day. Then once those are clearanced out, do not buy anymore. Uh, they aren't gonna have a lot of grill options and then at Christmas, they're gonna come back. They are not gonna be on sale, but they're going to appear to be on sale. So no grills over Christmas. So if you can hold out, that's what you're looking for. Um, if you can't, uh, I don't know, three day weekend might be your best bet if you can't wait, but late summer for a lot of those outdoor things is a much better price. Um, so let's go through a few other things um, and then I'll jump back if there are other, um, as more questions come in too. But um, so if we are talking other summer clearance, so I'm talking outdoor there, big ticket, I want you to wait until Labor Day. But other summer clearance, just the small stuff, as soon as July 4th hits, like Target, for example, think of that whole back corner, that's where it is in our store anyway, is the whole patio section in Target, the whole outdoor summer section. That whole section come July 4th, July 5th, it goes on clearance. And it goes on clearance fast because Target wants to move school in there. They wanna set up a whole back to school corner. Um, so stores that are not uh, your big, outdoor stores, not Lowe's and Home Depot, they clearance that a lot faster and you can get some deals on patio furniture, on just the small gadgets and doodads for a lawn and garden um, starting July 5th instead of having to wait until, you know, hitting the Labor Day kind of sales or later. Uh, and another one I had, I don't know if you're watching or not, but someone emailed me and I did not get to email last week. It's just completely slammed. Um, but best time to buy a pool or an above ground pool is definitely mid August. Um, that would be us. We have an above ground pool as of last August uh, and we grabbed one that literally was 50 bucks. We saw the same pool, same size pool, $500 in Target this season. Um, so definitely a deal. Target, Walmart, they, they go half price and then they go 70% off. So it's waiting for that moment and grabbing it. I know late August, you do not plan to swim. You don't have to set it up. We did, um, you know, telling your kids you bought a pool and then just walking away and leaving it in the garage all winter. It's kind of like horrible parent thing to do. So we did set it up. It was frigid um, because we live on a well and it never warmed up, but our kids would still get in it and brave the cold uh, until it just got too cold and we, turned it off for the winter, but great deals if you can grab them on clearance. That does not help you now, I know. If you wanted a pool right now, you are just gonna pay top dollar. They are not gonna be on sale. We will see some tiny sales on the three-day weekends of Memorial Day and July 4th, but they really wanna sell those at top dollar, uh, and they know that they can. Most of these stores only have four or five in stock, Target, Walmart, um, so, they don't really have to push them that hard. Walmart has actually more than Target does. Um, but you just really wanna wait for the clearance sales if you can. 
and we're quite happy with ours. Um, I don't know how you couldn't be though with a $50 big above ground pool. So uh, let's see. Um, okay, Deborah says uh, that she recently learned if you buy a protection plan through Lowe's and if you go through the whole warranty and don't use it after 30 days, you can call and get some of the money back. Interesting, I didn't know that either. Um, well, there we go. I, we usually do not buy the warranty plans on most items, but that is definitely interesting to know. Um, oh, so Kathy says, if I already earned and used my 1000 Kroger May fuel points, will I get credit for any more purchases this month? Um, Kathy, I do think you have maxed it out for the month, um, but in terms of what you earn, wow, I'm gonna guess that was all gift cards because this is only May 10th. Um, that would be a lot in Kroger land. You may wanna call Kroger Corporate and see. So they do have a max. Um, I don't know how much they enforce that max though. That is actually not one we have ever hit. Uh, and we did buy a number of big Lowe's gift cards um, and it, it, it has not been a problem for us. But I would call and just see what, what Kroger Corporate tells you um, on, on that max. And maybe you're gonna be fine. That you've definitely, that's definitely a stump Jenny question. You found one I didn't know the answer to. Um, okay, and then uh, Scott as well. So the best three day for, grass, uh, for a gas grill, if you can hold off, it's waiting until Labor Day. If you can't, um, you know, July 4th and Memorial Day are still gonna have some sales. Father's Day is gonna have some tinier sales, um, but Labor Day is ideal and after Labor Day. Um, <laughs> yes, I agree. Mike says his entire place has been furnished by buying from Habitat for Humanity thrift stores. I am completely cool with that. We have a table that is our, it's our game table now uh, that we love that was like 20 bucks in Goodwill. So all about any type of deal that you can find. If you saw my dining room table that I'm currently sitting at, none of the chairs match and you know we're just gonna call that fashion that was that was the plan um, along with the big huge bench that is left over from an old church that shut down that's on the other side of the table when's the best time to buy a new smartphone uh, great question Lynn Marie so with smartphones um, we see uh, new phones get released in the spring for Samsung and in the fall for Apple. So Apple does a half year release. That's what we just saw with the new SE, but we are gonna see them release another phone um, at the end of September is when they'll release that. So if you wanted to, usually the best time to get a new smartphone is around those release dates, not getting the new new phone, but getting the one that was just brought out last. Um, so when we see the new, new phone come out, maybe then it's grabbing the iPhone 11 uh, or the SE 10, as they're now calling it. Um, because we see the newest phone come out, that's what people want. They put the older ones on sale to kind of get rid of them. So if you can hold out until the end of the summer, that would be ideal for you. If you can't, I'd go ahead and grab that SE 10. It's a great phone and its top price is $399 or starting price, I guess, at the, the basic memory level, but still super cheap compared to an iPhone 11 or higher, um, and has some of the chips, the same chips as the 11, has still a great camera. Uh, I think you'd be pretty pleased with that new kind of, it's like a sub down model, but it's a pretty good price. We're also seeing some deals on it. Um, some of the deals are coming and going pretty quickly. Walmart ran it for 199 bucks. We were able to grab one for my mom. Uh, and I know some of you guys also got, got in on that deal. It didn't last long, it sold out pretty quick. But Walmart's fine print on that was that that deal was actually gonna run through Father's Day. So I would keep an eye on that one because I expect that they will restock and you would be able to get that $199 deal that was for AT&T and Verizon customers um, through Walmart in particular. That's a great price for a new smartphone. Um, Okay, when's a good time to buy a used vehicle? Jody, that is a trickier question. So used vehicles, what I would honestly recommend there is that you're keeping an eye on what it is that you're looking for and don't be quick to make a decision. Like, I mean, if you see what you want, make a decision, but until you see exactly what you want, 
holding off. Don't, don't settle when it comes to used items. But most folks are willing to sell used cars throughout the year. Now, what you could do is use this bit of knowledge, I guess, in terms of when to start hunting more, because the best time to buy a new vehicle, brand new vehicle, is in the fall. They're trying to get all of this year's models off the lots to bring in next year's models, which come out in September. Um, so we're hitting September, October. Those They want more room on their, on their lots to get the, what would that even be, 2021 models. I have to sit here and remember what year we're in. Uh, guys, I don't even know what day we're on most most of the week. Uh, but if if that is the best time to sell your car, or sorry, to buy a new car, then it, in theory, going to have a lot of cars that are being sold by owner at that point too, to buy a used vehicle. If you want to buy directly from um, the car dealers as well used, they're going to have a lot more on hand as people are trading in their cars. So um, I may wait until the fall if you could but we do see a good number of deals throughout the year on that. Um, so Lynn says, uh, you know, to be honest, she's talking about loans here, but um, uh, kind of stressed about her son's college loans and spoke to a rep uh, and it was all incorrect info. He'd been paying for five years and we don't even really know where the extra money's going. Um, oh goodness. Um, so what I would do, Lynn, honestly, is um, asking for, on the loan information, asking for them to give you some kind of uh, chart of your past history, your payments, your, you know, what I can never say the word right, but um, amortization schedule of where those payments and where that payoff is gonna be. Um, and I would start to track that. There are some free debt programs that will even, so they're really budget programs, but you can plug your mortgage into them and you can see where your payoffs are and, and what that's looking like. Uh, and I would probably try to use one of those and have it directly link with the loan. And that way, if I have it directly linked with the loan, I can see in the program when the payments are applying, what the new balance is on the payments. Um, so with those, it's going with any of them that will directly talk to banks. So Quicken is one that you can put on your computer. Uh, others that you can, you can use Quicken online too now, but um, others that you may, you're gonna have to pay for them for some of the ones that are gonna go that level to bring in loans and student loans but it's still probably gonna be worth it. And they're not, it's not a huge expense monthly. Um, Quicken is the one that I would know the best. So it's where I wanna to turn to first in my brain. Um, but I wanna say even like YNAB will do this, which is you need a budget, but it's, it's YNAB.com. Um, or going with Dave Ramsey's version, they'll all bring things in uh, and you just pay the monthly fee, but that way I can see it. I can see it every month where it is and what's been tracking. If you don't want to pay, you could do that yourself. You should have access to be able to pull up an online system for that loan of some sort, uh, and then be able to see what that is and put it into a spreadsheet each month for yourself. How much is left? How much was applied to the principal? How much was interest? And kind of keeping your own spreadsheet if you wanted to as well. Um, that's really what you need so that you know where it's going and what it's looking like that they applied the money where it needed to apply. Um, Hope, great question. Best time to buy sheets and towels. This is a strange one, um, but it's really mid-July and August. So July and August are huge months for weddings. And because they're huge months for weddings, we actually see pretty good deals on items that are typically wedding registry items. Uh, so towels, linens of all sorts, um, sheets, etc. in those months, July and August. It may not be one that you would even think of, um, but that is why most people say they come on sale. I don't know. I would have thought this spring personally, but we see better deals in the fall. Okay, and what about house plants? Um, so Michelle, that one, it depends on what you're wanting to grab. We saw some pretty good deals actually for Mother's Day. I, we may see some deals for Father's Day on house plants. Um, we'll also see some around three day weekends for those too. It depends on how big you're wanting to go. That's really one though that I would just keep an eye on as my stores start to clearance things out. And this is a tip that a friend of mine taught me years ago. The difference between Home Depot and Lowe's. 
but if you head to Home Depot, the plants in Home Depot that are in there are not actually stocked or up, kind of maintained uh, by Home Depot staff. They're really brought in and stocked by the plant distributors. And so in Home Depot, they tend to clearance things out a lot faster than they do in Lowe's. And if you can kind of head in and be in the plant section on a, you know, a fair regular basis, you're gonna meet, get to meet some of those folks. And so this sweet lady, she's a good friend of mine, uh, she would, she had some of these people like where they would text her, hey, we're marking down these plants. And she would be there. She'd be there in a heartbeat to grab whatever they were marking down. You'll also see these plants to the side of your Home Depot, like outside of the garden center on huge racks, just dying. That's why they've gotten pulled. Um, and they're just all there in a line, you know, so if you have a massive green thumb, those are just there for the taking. Um, but that's what I would encourage you because you're gonna get some pretty sweet clearance deals throughout the year. They're gonna get rid of them as, as they're starting to look droopy uh, or they wanna put in some new plants for a different season. It could be a great time. And you know, a lot of things can make a pretty good indoor house plant, just depends on how much sun you've got, but that's where I would point you. Um, Oh, Miss J, any deals on routers? You're working from home and need a faster uh, um, faster router and better Wi-Fi. So what I would watch here isn't necessarily the router. We do see some sales on routers, but it's really watching for who has the best coupon code. I can tell you, um, though you didn't hear it from me, that May 14th and 15th, which is, trying to think about my week, Thursday and Friday, Staples is going to run a $25 off any $100 coupon code. So if you were looking for you know, a pricier router, that's a chunk off. So I would at least look and see what the prices are on Staples right now, see if that 25 off $100 coupon code might help you. Uh, I know they're running a 15 off 60 right now, but 25 off 100 is a little bit better. So uh, you know, it definitely if you've got a bigger ticket item to grab, um, that's what I would do instead of looking necessarily for the deal on the item, because we're not seeing a lot of deals. Everybody's trying to work from home right now, so they know that they can get you, um, but it does make for a good sale. Speaking of, where I would point you on that, so anyone that wants a printer, uh, this week my favorite printer is on sale at Staples for $99. It's not a huge sale, but come Thursday and Friday, you throw in a 30 cent eraser, <laughs> you hit $100, and then you get $25 off, it makes that printer 75 bucks that's a great price on a printer that's normally 120, 130 for a wireless printer. So if you're wanting a printer, uh, it's a brother, I think it's the, no, oh, I have to look it up again. I had it earlier and I already plan on putting it in a post. I have it pulled and ready. Um, Staples sent me the code of what will be, um, but you didn't hear it from me. So uh, just, you know, inside information there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've looked for this so much that Staples automatically pulls it up. So it's a Brother 2320D printer, uh, and we'll stick this in the comments for, for you guys too. Um, that printer is on sale for $99, throw something tiny in, and then come Thursday and Friday, use that $25 off coupon, and you've got a great price on a great black and white laser printer um, that's going to save you a ton of money. Okay. Um, Let's see, I, and I know I'm trying to catch up on questions, guys. Um, oh, and oh, Jessica's saying in January of 2019, she got a new 2018 and they gave her $10,000 off her car uh, because she asked them to price match another dealership. So that's great, Jessica, a uh, huge way to save a ton of money. Uh, and that's really, that's taking the advice even of you know home repairs, but any time that you can price around, most of us don't like to do that. We wanna walk in when we wanna buy a car right now, but yes, pricing around and getting a good idea of what those prices are everywhere is huge. Um, and <laughs> my poor husband has spent the last week or so having to do that for us because um, Southern Savers lives on a few different servers to handle all the traffic that we see on the site. And we got a letter in the mail that one of the companies that manages that for us said, you have 30 days to find another provider. I'm like, ah! Uh, so he has spent numerous, numerous days on the phone with folks and then pitting that price against somebody else and seeing a price drop from what they first quoted us at $2,500 a month, which is kind of crazy. We can't afford that. 
um, you know, bringing that down over $2,000. So you may not realize it, but yes, it does cost money to run a website, um, but huge to make all those phone calls and bring down, it's worth the time, it's worth the effort. Anything that you're buying that's a big ticket item, it is always worth the effort to price match that around. Um, even our appliances, guys, Lowe's and Home Depot price match each other, so take advantage of it. See who's offering what. Use it online, you don't have to go into every store, the prices are online the same, but definitely do your homework because you're gonna save money on anything by pitting one price against the other. Even down to small things. So let's say I was grabbing an appliance and Home Depot is offering free delivery and Lowe's isn't. They'll even match that. If you throw that out, hey, I could get the same fridge for the same price at Home Depot, but they're offering free delivery and you're not. You have free delivery. It's just a click of a button for them. They do have that ability to add that in. You just have to be smart enough to throw it out there as you know as something that a competitor is running. Uh, and for folks that are just jumping in too, so Debbie's just jumping in, we've already hit these, but I'll go back through. Um, so anything that you've just named, Debbie, which is refrigerators and freezers, uh, those large ticket items, three day weekends. So Memorial Day, July 4th, Labor Day, those are your weekends for appliances. And lawnmowers in particular, if you can wait until late August, you're gonna get a much better price than you are going to see right now. We will see lawnmowers kind of on sale around Father's Day, uh, but not a huge discount there. You really want to wait till the end of the summer uh, if you can. I know that at that point your grass may be way steep. Um, it may not be an option, but you're talking a significant savings over right now versus the end of the summer. Um, Okay, so best prices on small appliances is Patty's question. Air fryers, Ninja Foodies, pressure cookers, all of those items. Is there another time other than Thanksgiving? There can be. So what we're looking for, you really just wanna watch Kohl's on this one, Patty, and I don't know if you have a Kohl's card, but you should get one. Um, so right now, Kohl's is running. They're 30% off for card holders. Uh, for Mother's Day, they ran a 10 off 50. I think that's still running um, for through the week, through this week. So then I can stack a 10 off 50, a 30% off, and if they'll have it on sale. They didn't really put those items on a huge discount for Mother's Day. Um, we might possibly see them on a big discount though on a three day weekend. So you just wanna keep watching, keeping tabs on them. What we did see for Thanksgiving though on those prices was dirt cheap. So this week Target has a Ninja, um, Ninja Foodie. I'm trying to think, I took a picture of it today. Um, <laughs> I was uh, walking Target to see what other gift card deals there were, but, um, oh, where was he? He is $179.99 in Target this week for the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. Um, but that same guy, so it's regularly $229 according to the Target tag, but we saw that like 99 bucks at Kohl's, after Kohl's cash. Uh, so. That's a huge price difference, over 180 right now. It's still a decent sale, it's like 50 bucks off now, but nowhere near what we saw for Black Friday. So it's, it's a hard one for me on, on those items where you don't have to have them, you just kind of want them. I would encourage you to just wait if you could. Um, oh, and Jessica's saying um, she it did a great deal at Home Depot too. She got hostas for 20 cents a piece because they stocked too many and they weren't selling. So I'm serious, Home Depot's the place to go for clearance items. And Leanne, yes, there's actually a great deal on pots and pans right now. Um, let me see, I, I wrote it up on Southern Savers, so let me see if I can go back and just find the deal for you. Um, but pots and pans, you can get Rachel Ray pots and pans um, from Kohl's through, I think it, the sale's still running, um, here we go. Um, as low as 40 bucks after Kohl's cash and a rebate. Um, so Kohl, they're on sale, we've got stacking coupon codes, we have a $40 mail-in rebate, and you're gonna get Kohl's cat $10 in Kohl's cash back. So crazy good deals on full sets. These are 11 and 13 piece pots and pan sets. They may not be you know top of the line, but they're pots and pans for 40 bucks. So that is a great price. Um, we see about the same price even on Black Friday and Cyber Monday type deals. So I, if you needed it, I'd go ahead and grab it. 
Um, uh, let's see. Oh, good. I'm glad that that coupon will help you even on a gamer chair. So yeah, 25 off 100. Um, I don't have it pulled up, but it's just going to be a series of numbers and it will be at the top of Staples' site on Thursday. Um, let's see. Trying, trying to catch up, guys. Oh, best time for video games. Uh, your daughter wants the Animal Crossing games. Her and half the world. That is a very popular game right now. Um, so with video games, we see sales kind of, uh, you know, big holiday weekends. We see good sales on used games. That is a game that if you're cool with buying used in a little bit, I think the market's going to be flooded with it. So when we see a game that gets super popular, people play it and play it and play it. They get tired of it and they move on. And so if you wait even, I'd say a couple more months and head to GameStop, maybe July 4th sale GameStop wise, you're going to find some pretty good pre-owned prices on that one. And they're going to have a lot in stock as folks have played it and they're ready to kind of move on from it. Um, but if you want to go new, we do see them on sale on big weekends as well with Target and um, Target gift card offers or Target uh, will run uh, buy two and get one free. So now you have to buy three games, but you just saved 33% basically if you stick with three games that are about the same price. Keep in mind the free one is always the cheapest of the three that you grab, but that's a great one for getting brand new games. Um, and probably one of the best discounts you're going to see on that particular game since it is so highly wanted right now uh, if you don't want to wait for it to come out used. And Pauline asks, what is my stock up price for boneless skinless chicken breasts? It used to be um, around a dollar to a dollar ten a pound. We buy it at the U.S. Foods Chef store in bulk so I get all of my meat. It's a restaurant supply store that's in our area. You might have a restaurant supply in your area. Where we are right now, chicken prices, beef prices are starting to skyrocket. So um, I would say if you can find it in bulk that you just go ahead and grab whatever price you can and you try to get enough to last you for a little while. Um, I, we've seen, I was looking at market reports to try to answer someone's question um, last week and the price of beef on the USDA market report, there are reports for everything. So if you go to the USDA's website, you can search for agricultural reports and you can pull up beef and you can put, pull up chicken. And it's definitely not in lingo that most of us know, but the price of beef was almost a straight line from one week over another. It was not a nice little horizontal line in terms of the increase in price. It was a straight up and down line as to how much it had jumped. Um, so that's not pretty and it is going to get worse in the next few weeks to month. Um, so I'd go ahead and grab whatever price you could now and try to stock up. Not trying to create some kind of frenzy here, just telling you what I saw. Um, and that's just them tracking prices. And what the USDA is tracking, by the way, is not grocery store prices. There is a report for that, but this particular report was the report for wholesale prices. So this is long before you see it. This is the price that the farmer was getting paid for the cow at market or that the market was getting paid for the you know um, full rack weight of the cow after it's been mostly processed, that kind of thing. Uh, not the public's price for beef, but it's only going to affect the public's price as you get further into that chain of the whole industry. Um, Oh, so Judy, when's a good time to get an AC unit? Not in the summer. <laughs> That's a hard one. If you want to buy anything in the summer, it's the perfect time to buy a new heat pump or uh, anything like that, but it is not the perfect time to buy a new AC unit. You're going to get a much better price during the winter, not only on um, the, the unit itself, but if you were doing any sort of installation on that uh, and having an air conditioner repairman come out, they're pretty busy during the summer. Um, so if you can hold off, you're gonna get some very good prices on a window AC unit um, starting after Labor Day, along with all those other items, the lawn mowers, the patio furniture, uh, everything that we wanted to use during the summer, now it is the time to grab them. And I know that's not what you wanna hear, but it really is the truth in terms of when those prices are gonna come down a lot more. Um, so Diana's asking, what about paper products, wipes, and when will all that get better? So I can tell you this much on paper products. Nowhere has toilet paper. That's just the, that's the list, the gist of it. Well, I take that back. 
There are some stores that have toilet paper. They're getting creative. I was in Lowe's Foods this past week, and I have to say I, I'm pleasantly shocked at what Lowe's Foods is doing. Um, let's see, I, I know I can find that one pretty fast, but Lowe's Foods has brought in toilet paper from really what I would guess is the um, uh, like restaurant industry, um, bringing it in bulk from the restaurant industry and then selling it um, by the roll. For anyone that wants um, toilet paper, you have massive amounts of it that you can grab. Um, so I will pull up my phone and show you this picture. This is just one section on the aisle, but the whole aisle was huge cartons of York or Torque, I guess is what that is. Um, these are really, you know, they would be sold to like, uh, hotels and restaurants. They've brought all this in. So if you're looking for toilet paper, you could go crazy here. Uh, this was our Lowe's Foods in the Lexington, South Carolina area, but I would guess Lowe's Foods corporate across the board has done this. So if you are in crisis mode and you have a Lowe's Foods near you, this is where you should go for toilet paper. I haven't seen another store in town that has toilet paper, but I will say, it's all over the place online now, and it's not selling out as fast as it was. Uh, so Walmart, go to walmart.com and type in toilet paper. There's a lot that is staying in stock throughout the day. It used to be that you had to catch it and then check back in another hour and see if they reloaded more. Um, they have plenty. So just order online for right now for toilet paper. Now, other paper goods, I, um, walk, I was in Target earlier today to grab pictures and deals. Um, they had plenty of paper towels. Um, so we're seeing other things come back in stock, plenty of paper plates and cups. If you're looking for those types of things, it's just the toilet paper that's missing right now. Uh, and it's going to come back, it will. I mean, just a, paper towels is coming back, slow and steady, we'll see toilet paper too. The problem for right now is that most people, when they do see it on the shelf, they don't even need it, but they're like, oh, I saw it on the shelf and I should grab it. So we gotta wait until people stop doing that uh, and kind of chill out to where toilet paper can sit there and kind of calm down for a little bit. Uh, and it's gonna be a little bit. So order your toilet paper online, long story short there. Um, and yes, Wendy, great question. So she discovered that Ingalls is not issuing rain checks. So most grocery stores right now, Wendy, are not issuing rain checks or accepting returns uh, across the board, uh, targets, everybody, because they can't necessarily keep everything in stock uh, and this takes away some of the liability for them. Rain checks technically cost them money, especially on things that were on sale. So we probably, my guess is we'll see rain checks come back in um, uh, probably by the beginning of August. I will say this is exciting, working on the new Kroger ad that starts Wednesday there's a mega event. I know it's a tiny one, but there's a mega event. And we haven't seen a mega event since all of this happened. That is Kroger's promotional model. So basically for the last seven or eight weeks, Kroger has not run a good sale, um, but there is one. So that should give you some hope. Uh, and I honestly did not expect it this soon. I suspected we, wouldn't, we would see a mega event after Memorial Day. So they've surprised me a little bit, but that, that should give you hope that things are kind of coming back around um, and it may not be huge, but we're getting something and a little bit at a time, but it's definitely going to come back around. Um, let's see. You guys have kept me hopping tonight. So I had a few more things that I wanted to get to and, um, and I'll try give my husband some time to go through and grab any other comments for me too. So I don't miss them. Um, there are two sales that I do want you to have kind of on the back of your mind that will happen potentially. One of them is potentially. So Amazon Prime Day is usually always in July. Amazon has announced that they plan on pushing Prime Day back. And a lot of people are supposing that it's now going to be uh, the beginning of August. It'll still be before school starts if it happens. So Amazon has not released new dates for Prime Day. Uh, they've just said that they're going to postpone it around a month if it happens. And those are their words. But what I do think you'll see is that you'll have a lot of Amazon sellers that still have deals that they want to run on products. So I would watch for kind of the beginning of August to be a pretty good time to be looking for deals on Amazon. Prime Day, if you've not shopped it in the past, it is a great time to grab Amazon brand electronics. Some of the lowest prices we see even beats Black Friday sometimes on their fires and their candles and their fire sticks and 
everything that Amazon makes, so watch for that one. Hopefully we'll get a heads up as to when it's gonna happen a little bit further out, but for right now, all we've got is that it's been postponed. Um, and I do, I do still think we'll see it, just not in July like we normally do. Uh, another one is watching Sam's Club. So Sam's Club always runs Saturday, one day only sales. They tend to run one in um, uh, late June, early July, that's kind of around July 4th. It's not gonna be on July 4th, uh, but it's usually the weekend before. And then they run one in August um, that is a good one. So these one day sales, these are great times to grab. Like someone was asking a storage shed, that's almost always in the ad. Electronics, always in the ad, clothes. Uh, I don't know if you go to Sam's for clothes, but phones, it's a big one for phones. And then they always run one for Veterans Day and around Veterans Day weekend. So that's really far out. But they will run two over the course of the summer. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Those Sam's one day sales are good. They are good sales and they're good online. So you don't have to go into the store. You don't have to wait in line unless you're going for a phone. The phones you do have to go to the store, but nothing else. Uh, and by the way, if you're looking for a deal on a Sam's Club membership, uh, the 40, buy $45 membership and then get $45 back in credit deal is running again. So if you head to Southern Savers and you type in Sam's Club, uh, you can find it. I'll try to search for the link too. I posted it probably almost a week ago now. Um, so it'll take me a minute to find it. I'll stick it in the comments when we're done. Um, but it is running again. You can sign up. It's a great deal. We've done it twice now. I know a few of you um, that are on as well have done it, um, but it's a completely free membership in the end. And then you're ready for those one day sales. Uh, and they're good sales to grab some of those big ticket items that you might be wanting. Um, trying to skim over here. I think that we hit most everything. Oh, I did want to list what we shouldn't buy and we're over on time. I've hit some, I guess, but during the summer, anything that you want to use during the summer, Typically not a great time to grab it, but the kind of the big items to stay away from, sunglasses, anything name brand sunglasses, I personally wouldn't ever buy them because I'm going to lose them or break them, but you shouldn't buy them during the summer if you are tempted. They are definitely a better price in the fall. Swimsuits as well. We do see some good sales. We've seen 50% off plus free shipping at Land's End recently. I mean, if you can get it on a great sale, go for it. But if you're not getting it on a great sale, wait. Uh, because all swimsuits will be a much better price come after July 4th even, swimsuits start to go on sale. So you don't even have to wait all the way into Labor Day. Swimsuits go on sale a little faster than um, the patio gear items. Um, air conditioners, which I already mentioned, bicycles, that might be one you're um, kind of surprised on, but not on sale during the summer. We do see great deals on bicycles though in the late fall, and then they kind of go back off sale around Christmas because they know they can sell them for top dollar around Christmas. So if you can grab those towards the end of fall, I know right now our targets don't even have any bicycles in. They've been sold out of bicycles and puzzles uh, for a while, but hopefully they're gonna get some more in and then we can grab them on a pretty good sale at the end of summer. Uh, and then a car, we wanna wait till the end of the summer if we can on those cars after Labor Day, beginning of um, September, best time and a house, this is a big one. Um, everyone wants to move during the summer because they don't want to upset their kids' school schedule. Uh, but if everyone wants to move during the summer, it means that if you're trying to buy a house, you're trying to buy a house during a seller's market. And this is definitely a seller's market right now, not only um, with it be being the end of the spring, beginning of summer, but also just with everything that's going on in the market. If you buy a house during a seller's market, you will pay more for that house than you would have paid in any other time of the year. So just keep that in mind. If I can buy a house when really no one else is wanting to buy a house, I can get a great price. Yes, it might make people have to move during the school year, um, but in the end, you could be talking thousands of dollars, great price. This isn't you know saving a couple hundred bucks. This is saving a lot of money. Um, so just to put that one out there, definitely if you're looking at moving in the same school district, there's no reason to move during the summer if you are only moving down the street. Please, please wait. Um, so hopefully all of that helps. Um, I may have missed some questions too, but trying to get caught up there. Um, oh, interesting. Wendy said that her R Ruby Tuesdays is selling single rolls of toilet paper if you purchase food to go. That is a great way to make yourself, um, you know, stay needed for people. I love it. 
Um, and yes, so Jessica as well. So anyone that's looking for Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, I wouldn't expect any of them back in stock for a while. And I mentioned this a few weeks ago, a lot of those companies are working to supply the hospital and healthcare systems first before they supply consumers. So those particular items, we aren't gonna see back on shelves for a while. They're, or they're supplying the actual grocery stores who are wiping down your carts and trying to get things clean. So um, don't look for those items. I did find that um, our Target had hand sanitizer on the shelf, so if you're looking for that, you can find it hopefully. Um, but you're not gonna find wipes anytime soon. Uh, and yes, uh, I actually just pulled that deal to post tomorrow. Deborah Walgreens does have Dixie paper plates and vanity paper towel, or vanity napkins, buy one, get one this week, and a digital coupon. So it makes the paper plates like $1.80 for a pack of paper plates and it makes the napkins 99 cents. So go for it. Head to Walgreens if you need those particular items. Um, okay, I think, um, I think I'm pretty much caught up, skimming quickly. So we'll go ahead and call it for today. We've, we went over on time, but we got to a ton of great things. Uh, and um, in general, to kind of sum it up, if you have a large ticket item, you wanna wait for a three-day weekend. If you have a summary item, grills, patios, et cetera, batter, patio furniture, et cetera, you wanna wait till the end of summer, um, which is really ideally after Labor Day. There are a lot of individual things, though, that you could grab throughout the summer um, that may not fit into those realms. Look for little pockets of sales, Memorial Day, Father's Day, July 4th, and Labor Day for anything big ticket, though, that you can. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off. Hopefully this helps you guys get some ideas of when to grab things, when not to grab things. Um, let me pull up my schedule really quick. I don't even remember what I had planned for next week, um, but uh, where are we? Oh, we were gonna go through mobile apps next week. I don't think we've talked to them in a while. Um, so just all the various mobile apps in terms of couponing and saving, um, it's a long list. We usually do it a few times of the year because it's one of everybody's biggest questions. It's also, in all honesty, where we're seeing most of our new coupons right now. We're not seeing them as printables. We're seeing them end up in mobile apps. So that's what we're gonna talk about next week along with any other questions that you have. Um, so I will see you guys next Monday night, same time, 8.30 p.m. every Monday night. I'll also be back on tomorrow afternoon with all of the CVS and Walgreens deals this week. Um, so if you are able to catch me then, um, probably will be about my guests, trying to back factor it into my day, um, probably about the same time I did last week, which is about 2.30. So I will be back online and hopefully you can catch that and catch all of the deals in the drugstores this week. So you guys take care and have a great night.